Game of them thrones. We in it, man. We in it. Episode two. Theon Greyjoy is the first bitch ass nigga in history. Fuck you, Reek. You sat up here and let your sister die and you let Euron pull your whole card. Fuck him. Fuck you, Reek. That's why your sister wrote a song about you. Wait, that's the person? Not the character. I'm sorry. My bad, Alfie. That fight scene at the end, that shit was dope. That shit was legit. And the claw that came down and got them because they did And then the the ambers and the flickers and the fire. And they could have let little Barbaro and the other sand live. That was so fucked up. They ain't had to die like that. That wasn't even right. I don't like this nigga Euron. I don't like him at all. And I don't like his fucking name. Euron sound too much like urinate. And I would piss on him my damn self. I don't like him. I don't like his little attitude. I don't like his little leather coat. I don't like him walking all up in the King's Landing like he own shit. I don't like him hopping up. I don't even like him coming to Cersei the way he did. Nigga, you better bow down. You need to learn yourself some damn humility. Be humble, bitch. Sit down. Arya. Arya and Nymeria. She saw her in the woods and she just looked at her and she told her to come with her and she just had a moment. She said, that's not you. It's not you. <sighs> My heart broke a little bit, but I'm a thug. I'm cool. I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> just parting the ways. A little Sam will. Sam is uh, I guess starting his community service after he has crossed the burning sands of Maester Phi Maester. And he is um, trying to be a doctor. He's a doctor now. Good for him. Good for you, Sam. You better kill that grayscale. Figure it out, man. I hope he does it. I, I root for Sam, man. I want him to do well. I want him to be the Ark Maester. I want him to have all the books and all the stories and all the cures. I want him to be the greatest motherfucking maester alive. You get it, Sam. You do it and you succeed and you get it. Did anybody um, peep how quiet Sansa got after John put her in charge? She been popping fly for the past two episodes and John said, you're the only stalk in the North. You're in charge. And she got real fucking quiet. And then little fingers ass, little pedophile, fucking smirking in the damn corner like a damn class deviant. He's a fucking pedophile. And I'm glad John hemmed his ass up like, like Ned did. Remember, Ned choked his ass up the first season, got yoked his ass up against that stone wall. All. Oh. The Starks put your ass in check, motherfucker. Don't forget it. You sit your little finger nasty ass down. That's what you do. Melisandre. Why is she back? I thought old red titties was gone. Why is the red bitch back? Why? My exact reaction when she came on the screen was just, <gasps> bitch, go away. Danny, don't depend on her for help. That bitch can't be trusted. She killed a child. She killed a child because she saw some shit in a fire. She gave birth to some type of demon. The shit flew out of Coochie. I'll never forget that, okay? It came out. You can't trust no bitch like that. You can't trust any motherfucker like that. She can't. Then when she took the choke off, she turned it to uh, uh, Grandma Moses. I don't know what the fuck she is, but you can't trust her. It's fucking Daenerys trying to check Varys. Bitch, he one of the smartest people in this game. You better listen to him. Don't try to check him. Talking about he betrayed this king and he betrayed this one. He did what the fuck he had to do. Respect a real nigga when you see one, Danny. So you need to keep him as your friend and as one of your advisors for your ass get 
Molly Watt. And what Leslie Jones say? She said the various hit hit Danny with the the color purple. All my life, I had to fight. I had to fight the slave us. I had to fight the Mad King. I fought your daddy, and I choose you. Grandma Olena, the original OG, triple OG, bad bitch of Westeros. I've known a great number of clever men. I've outlived them all. You know how? I ignored them. You're a dragon. Be a dragon. If she can sit on the Iron Throne, I'm chilling. I love that bitch. Also, who the hell is keeping Danny's hair tight? Her braids are crisp. Hair is laid all the damn time. Who's doing her hair on the boat? Was it Masande? Cause her hair stayed moisturized and fluffy and just like mine, like, like mine is. Deion Greyjoy is a bitch. He just a bitch. She's so fucking bitch made. Man, fuck Cersei. She better not kill Nan one of them damn dragons. Not Nan damn one of them. But if I had to pick, Viserion gotta go. I'm sorry, he's a liability. I, I swear to God, if this show ends with this bitch sitting on the Iron Throne, I will completely renounce this whole fucking show and I will delete everything that I have posted about Game of Thrones and I will write George R.R. R. Martin the strongest motherfucking hate letter in the world and I will personally start a campaign against George R.R. R. Martin and I will sue him for pain and suffering because you put me through all of this shit only to put this frigid bitch on the fucking Iron Throne. Don't you dare do that to me. Fuck Cersei. Was anybody else as excited as I was with the sex scene between Masande and Grey Worm? He loved her. She loved him. They about to do it. They about to fuck. Wait, he ain't got no dick. He got a mouth though. There were so many things going on with this episode. So many ongoing stories and twists and turns and changes. But I think that we can all come together and realize that what we walk away with on this particular episode is that Theon Greyjoy is a bitch-ass nigga.